All right. Uh, so there exists, you know, there's a right triangle that has a leg that's four units and a hypotenuse that's five units. Uh, solve for the missing side and for the two acute angles. All right. So there's this triangle that exists. It's actually a famous triangle. Anyway, uh, it says uh, one of the legs is equal to four units and the hypotenuse is equal to five units and we're supposed to solve for this missing side and we need to come up with these two angles all right so uh they're not telling us any of the angles except for the right angle obviously you know in the past we were able to you know use one of these angles like we might say tangent of this angle is equal to four over that side but this time they're not giving us the angle all right drats all right, so first uh, let's get this missing side here. So by Pythagorean theorem, we got, you know, this would be C squared, this could be A squared, this could be B squared. Uh, this is equal to 3. All right, this is a famous triangle. This is a 3, 4, 5 triangle. You should know this one. Actually, I'm going to swatch this, swap this right here. So this one's 3, and this one's 4. Yep, so it's a famous right triangle, 3, 4, 5. Uh, now, let's uh, solve for one of these angles. I'll call this one angle X and this one angle Y. All right, so notice here that uh, sine of X, all right, sine of X would equal 3 over 5. Or you could say uh, cosine of X is equal to 4 over 5. Or you could say tangent of x is equal to 3 over 4. All right, you could use a lot of different equations here to solve this. Now, since you're solving for a missing angle, you have to get rid of this sign. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the inverse, uh, the inverse sign or sine inverse of both sides. So if we take uh, inverse sine of 3 fifths, that's going to give us our answer for x. All right, 36.87. So x would equal 36.87. So when we take that inverse sine, you know, sine and the inverse sine cancel each other out, and you're just left with x. And this side's our answers. Now, if you'd have done it with cosine, you know, this equation, you'd come up with the same answer. All right, but you'd have had to use uh, the inverse cosine. So there's that, and it was four fifths, and you get the exact same answer. All right. So one of your missing sides here is 36.87. Uh, to solve for this missing side, you could, you know, because they all add up to uh, 180. I'm just going to do, you know, 90 minus my last answer here, 36.87, so 53.13, all right, and that's one way that you could solve for that missing side, or that missing angle, uh, let's do it the other way as well, so we're going we're gonna to make some trig function involving angle y, it doesn't matter which one we use, well, I wouldn't use secant or any of the reciprocals because that's confusing. Uh, let me just do tangent just so you see how the tangent works. So I know we already solved it, but I'm going to solve it for another way here. So tangent of y is equal to opposite over adjacent, so 4 over 3. But since you're solving for this y, you're going to need to inverse tan this side and that side. So inverse tangent of four thirds, and you get 53.13. Same answer we got our work there. Uh, just want to make sure you remember your mode. Make sure you're in the right mode for that you're uh, solving for. Degree mode this time. Uh, radians do come up, but I'm not sure when we're going to get there. 